Egyptian researchers have succeeded in unlocking the secrets of the mummy of Amenhotep I without touching a single strip of his bandages. The remains of the pharaoh were discovered in 1981. Now, thanks to non-invasive medical imaging, scientists are learning more about the three and a half thousand year old mummy. He died in the age, age of 35. We found the brain inside the mummy, and this would never happen. It happened with other mummies, the brain is there. And also at the same time, we found that the mummy uh, was mummified Osiride style. This is the first time, but all the mummies after that had the same style. Researchers say they were unable to find any injury or disease that could have caused the death of Amenhotep and speculate that he may have died of a heart attack. Amenhotep I ruled Egypt between approximately 1525 and 1504 BC. Let's take a closer look at the striking detail of the discovery and the persona of Pharaoh Amenhotep I with Saha Salim. She is professor of radiology at Cairo University. Thank you for joining us. And first of all, congratulations on your remarkable achievement. Can you talk us through the process of your discovery and how long it took? Uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, the, uh, the process, uh, uh, we started the CT scanning in May 2019. Um, the CT scan uh, is, the, comp is, is the, the, the scanner that we use for, for people, uh, for a human, but we have uh, one at, in the garden of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. So the process was to take the uh, mummy from the museum, a few meters to the garden, to be CT scanned for also a uh, uh, very short time. The mummy returns back to the museum and I work on the thousands of uh, images uh, taken by the X-ray, put them together, uh, process them, uh, use software to put them in two dimension and three dimension to be able to uh, digitally remove all the, the mask and all the layers from the king and be able to look uh, at the king in, in the face and have more information uh, that have been hidden for more than 3,000 years. So what did your discovery lead to in terms of the historical importance of King Amenhotep? He is, was very important king. He ruled Egypt 3,500 years ago for 21 years. We, we get to know uh, his age at death. He was about 35 years old. Uh, and we got to know his, uh, that he was a healthy man uh, for, uh, and had, had a, a beautiful, good teeth. Also, we, uh, we had a, a look at the way of uh, the mummification. We now uh, um, know for sure that he was the first king uh, uh, from the uh, ancient Egypt to start in mummification the, the royal uh, or the crossing um, uh, arms, followed by other kings. We also know that he uh, is wearing uh, 30 amulets in between the wrappings and inside the body, as well as a golden uh, belt at uh, his uh, uh, lower back. And what did you learn about his physical features in particular? Uh, it was just an amazing moment uh, to to look at the face of the of the king and to see that he has uh, an oval uh, an oval face with a narrow chin and even a little bit of an overbite. Uh, uh, to go back to uh, to his father. King uh, Ahmos uh, I, we have his mummy in a um, museum in, in Luxor. So to look at the resemblance in the facial features of the, the king, Amenhotep I with his father, it's just like uh, knowing the, the family now um, very well. And what was the um, importance of leaving this mummy intact while you worked on it? It's very important because the, um, once the mummy, the wrapped mummy, is disturbed by unwrapping, um, um, it uh, has the 
potential harm to be uh, to be harmed because uh, uh, it had th this environment inside the wrapping for uh, millennia by interrupting it and communicating the the inner environment with the, our outer environment this uh, uh, could damage the mummy of course uh, by doing in the process the the wrapping and the and all the methods uh, would be disturbed uh, and destroyed so uh, this is an important very important uh, uh, heritage as well as uh, he's uh, a human being he's, he was a king and res uh, the re respect of a mummy as a person is very important ethically in our uh, um, science Saha Salim, thank you very much for speaking to Euronews. Thank you.